Hello YouTube World, Mac Daddy 1911 a one here. Going to do a quick video on 3030 brake chambers or the parking brake on big trucks. Now, this is a real 3030 spring brake chamber. All right, you can read it right there. This thing right here, you mishandle it, it will kill you dead as hell where you stand. Particularly this section of it. Okay, when you're in the you know, under the truck looking at it, that's what you're going to see. That'll be pointing at you. All right, the newer style, like this one here, I bought, I don't know, five or six years ago. It's been sitting in the uh, under the bunk in my truck as a spare. They no longer make it with a clamp with bolts like on this side. Okay, you got a clamp bolt on that side, and you got a bolt on that side. They no, no longer make them that way. All right, they make them with a band that is welded on somehow or another. So you cannot disassemble this in. There's a coil spring in there that is, is as big as the coil spring under a car, okay? And that coil spring is under tremendous, I mean, it, it delivers tremendous amount of pressure. And if you cut that off, that end's gonna come off of there and that coil spring's gonna hit you in the head and kill you dead where you stand. I've heard of guys having their entire head torn off their body from a coil spring out of one of these lockdown chambers coming out of there and kill them okay now here's the way the system works the red is the parking brake system okay here this represents the coal spring all right right here and here's your housing all right you've got a diaphragm a plat i mean a rubber diaphragm that looks just like a pancake that's what they call it a pancake but the correct name is a diaphragm you have a short short stroke piston in this center, another diaphragm, and then you have a long stroke piston, which is this end that sticks out that connects to your slack adjuster, which connects to your brake system. All right, and that's what that illustration is. It's a drawing of a slack adjuster. Okay, when you release the trailer brakes or the truck brakes, Push in the valve on the cab, supplies air to this hole, pushes that diaphragm right here inward, like that, to push that coil spring, you know, back to release your parking brakes. When you apply air to the supply side, the service brake pushes in here from this direction, pushing that way, and moves this piston. This here is just a return spring, but this is the way <clears throat> the internal workings of it pretty much look. Now, this is not exact, ladies and gentlemen. Then we're going to get down into that, but this is how it works. Okay, this spring here pushes against it when, it's, when the trailer brakes are locked down. The air has been relieved off the system. Pushes that piston toward this one and, and pushes on the slack adjuster, which in turn turns an S-cam up in here that makes the brakes go out like this. Okay? outward when you release the trailer brakes or the truck brakes the parking brakes it turns that s cam the other way and the brakes move back in away from the drum this the white line here is the drum the black is the brake padding okay and there's pivot points on this end and the s cam on this end <clears throat> and that's pretty much what the s cam looks like all it is is it's sitting in there and like I said, when you release the brake or you apply the, the parking brake, it pushes out on them, which pushes against the drum and stops the wheel from moving. When you release the parking brake, it comes, it, it closes that S cam and the brakes move off the brake drum. Okay, but this is what it looks like. Now, if your truck breaks down and you have lost all your air and they need to move it, you can cage it. Let me move this, turn this damn thing. All right, in. Just about all the brake chambers you see nowadays, you'll have a bolt, okay, with this this fancy little head on it, all right? On this end of the brake chamber, you got a cover. You stick that baby right in there. Now, let's see if I can get the camera up close enough. Probably not. Yes, right in there. And, of course, my daggum. It's just not going to focus. But anyway, there's a slot in there. You put that bolt in there and you turn it to lock it and then you take the nut and you start tightening it and what it does it pulls that bolt this way and 
locks that 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 uh, spring in there. It just constricts it, and makes it smaller. So it releases this rod here on this end. It's locked down. And that's pretty much how a 3030 or a parking brake drum or a chamber works on a heavy duty truck. Now, earlier on my steer axle in another video, you saw one that looked just like this here. And that's all it looked like. Okay. And that's exactly right. You just have this piece here. And then you have a little cap over here. And all this guy is a diaphragm, a small spring, and this piston that's hooked to the slack adjuster. And that's all the service brakes on the steer axle and usually on at least one axle on the truck look like just one half of this you know one third of this chamber here it'll just be this end right here but this here is a parking brake chamber my trailer has two of these on each i mean yeah on each axle and the tractor has one set of these on the front drive axle and that is it but that is how it works right here ladies and gentlemen most of the time, the truck driving schools teach you this. This is not for anyone who's experienced or who's been through truck driving school, but maybe it is. Maybe someone out there had some questions and they were too chicken crap to ask, whatever the case may be, and do not did not really understand how it worked. But that's how it works. Okay, it's just a couple of pistons, a couple of springs, a couple of diaphragms, and your slack adjuster, a solid rod that has an S cam on the end of it, and that S cam is right there. And, you know, I'm on my cell phone. It doesn't focus worth the flip. That's the best I can do. But all that, that, that cam, when it turns out like that, opens out, it pushes the brakes out against the drum and stops the truck. But anywho, another little quick lesson on heavy-duty trucks. Mac Daddy 1911A1 with the Shade Tree Survivalist signing off. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day.